it's time for another treat or terror. Hi, I'm Fox, any pronouns. And today, we're looking at Treehouse of Horror 23. And look at that! Actually allowed to air in October again. In the opening this time, we're in the times of the ancient Mayans. Their calendar is predicting destruction if a sacrifice is not made. Specifically, of a fat man, I guess? Homer's chosen, but Marge decides to seduce and trick Moe to take his place. Which means the wrong person is sacrificed, and the world will end in 2012. And this is all a joke about how people legitimately believed this is what the Mayan calendar predicted. Which it didn't. I feel uncomfortable with all these normally white characters having their skin darkened to play Mayans. And yes, these are white people, even if their skin is normally yellow. They are still what we consider white people. And there's a chuckle at the end with the prediction of destruction in 2012 being Obama's fault, but it still feels super uncomfortable. Oh, we also do see Mayan god statues attacking Springfield, and then the rest of the world, which is fun. And we get our King and Kodos cameo of the season. Our first segment is the greatest story ever told. The Simpsons are at the activation of Springfield's new subatomic super collider. The Lisa lobbied to get built instead of a new stadium. The flip is switched, and Frank says that it's much too small to tell them anything important. So now everyone is upset at Lisa because of fucking course. However, something else is happening. A mini black hole has formed. Lisa manages to contain it in the basement. She warns them not to throw things in because that will make it grow bigger. They all do. The whole town does, in fact. Making it hit critical mass and pull in the whole town. Except Maggie, saved by her pacifier. Everyone else lands in a populated alien planet that treat everything that made it through as treasures they've built their society around. I don't know how I feel about this one. It was fun to see skeletons pulled out of bodies and had a few other chuckles, and of course points for actually having some creepy atmosphere. It wasn't the spookiest or funniest treehouse, but as we've already seen, this show can do so much worse. I'd give it a C plus, probably. Second up is Unnormal Activity. A parody of Paranormal Activity, the found footage series that was incredibly popular around this time, on its third released film. The fourth released only a couple weeks after this treehouse aired. The Simpsons have a new camera because strange things are happening in their home. Like a ghost slamming a golf club against Homer while he sleeps. And then the house shakes and they race downstairs, where things are on fire and Marge is acting very suspiciously. On night six, Marge gets up and just watches Homer sleep. This turns Homer on. Later, it seems the fire downstairs is hellfire, and Maggie's blocks say, too late. Right before an invisible entity prepares to take her. The family races in, and we learn the entity is a demon. It turns out that when Marge was a child, her sisters were trying to summon Satan, and got this guy. So Marge made a deal to save them. In return, he would come back in 30 years to take her favorite child. I thought I was the favorite. Uh-huh. Not the favorite, not the favorite. Homer steps in to make a new deal. It's a threesome. Good for him. Honestly, I enjoyed this more than I ever enjoyed the Paranormal Activity movies. It's a good one. The solid B. There's a lot of fun here, and it doesn't overstay its welcome. Finally, we have Bart and Homer's Excellent Adventure. The title referencing Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, with the actual plot having more references to Back to the Future. Bart is upset that an old comic is $200 nowadays. And then he gets a hold of Frank's new time-traveling car and goes back to the 70s when the comic was published. It's also when his parents were in high school. Bart decides to fuck around a little bit and ends up ruining Homer and Marge getting together. He realizes that this works out great for him, actually, and tells Marge never to get with Homer. Then he returns to the future, but Homer has hitched a ride. In this timeline, Marge is married to a minor character from the canonical episodes, Artie Ziff, the guy she went to prom with in the episode The Way We Was, all the way back in season two. I forgot all about this, but he really came close to raping Marge in that episode. I guess they seem happy now. Not happy, however, is Homer. Both of them. Past and present Homer are in the same tree, spying on the home. They decide to work together, amassing homers from throughout history to take Marge back. And they all get their asses kicked. But when Marge comes out and sees it, 
Suddenly, she realizes she married the wrong man and decides she was supposed to be with all of them. Kinky bitch. Another one that really wasn't horror in the slightest. A few good laughs, and I enjoy Bart desperate to make sure Marge doesn't marry Homer. Ultimately, I wouldn't say it's something to really seek out. I did enjoy the twist of Marge with all of the Homers, though. That tickled me. Overall, this treehouse wasn't the most memorable. The real standout was a normal activity. Everything else was middling at best. But hey, we've technically seen worse. And that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for joining my lucid screaming.